Hello guys, today I am going to talk about Gauss method and Gauss methods allows to find the inverse of A by means of following steps. Uh, first, we transform the matrix of A to the identity matrix using the elementary operations and then we apply these operations uh, to the identity matrix to define the inverse of A. And here, Elementary operations means following transformations, multiplying elements of a row by non-zero element, adding the elements of a row to the corresponding elements of another row multiplied by non-zero element, interchanging any two rows of a matrix. That's it. Let's look at the exercise. Suppose that we have two matrices A and B. Let's find the inverse of these matrices. You know that to find the inverse of A, we apply the elementary operations to this matrix to obtain the identity matrix. And also we apply this procedure to the identity matrix and the result will be the inverse of A. Then I will write this matrix with together identity matrix. One, two, one. 4, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 2, 2. And 1, 2, up, sorry. One, zero, 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 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Here, instead of second row, I will write second row plus four times third row. Then the result will be one, two, one, zero, eight, seven, minus one, two, two, and one, zero, 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 one, four, and zero, zero, one. And then here, instead of third row we write third row plus uh, first row it will be one two one zero eight seven zero four three and one zero 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 one four one zero one And then here, instead of first line, we write first line minus one over two, third one. It will be one, zero, minus one over two, zero, eight, seven, zero, four, three. And one over two, zero, minus one over two, zero one four one zero one here instead of third line we write third line minus one over two second one then the result will be one zero minus one over two zero eight seven zero zero minus one over two and one over two zero minus one over two zero one four one minus one over two minus one as you know all of the elements except from diagonal elements must be zero here instead of first line we write first line minus third line. One, zero, 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 eight, seven, zero, zero, minus one over two, and minus one over two, one over two, one over two, zero, one four and 
1 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. Instead of L2, we write L2 plus 14 L3. And the result will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 8, 0, 0, 0, minus 1 over 2 and minus 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 14, minus 6, minus 10, 1, minus 1 over 2, and minus 1. As you see, we get this matrix with the diagonal elements of 1, 8, minus 1 over 2. And here, to get the identity matrix, we apply the following operations. Instead of L2, we write L2 times 1 over 8, and instead of L3, L3 times minus 2. Then from here, it will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and minus 1 over 2, 1 over 2, and 1 over 2, 7 over 4, minus 3 over 4, minus 5 over 4, minus 2, 1 and 2. Then from here, this expression will be the inverse of A. The inverse of A. The inverse of A is minus 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 7 over 4, minus 3 over 4, minus 5 over 4, minus 2, 1 and 2. That's all. Okay, see you guys next lesson.